Hey guys, so here in this example, we're trying to balance a sort of a shelf on a wall by using a pin. So let's check it out. So we got the red pin here, um, and we're using it to try to balance the bar that has a mass of 20, so M equals 20, and a length of three meters. And it's held horizontally against the wall by the pin right here, okay? The idea is that there's going to be an MG right in the middle that's pulling the bar down um, this is the axis of rotation somewhere over here, axis, okay? And this MG is producing a torque that would cause this to spin. But the pin, which could be like a nail or something, is holding it up, and the way it holds it up is by providing a counter torque, okay? So here, if we're holding it up, we're going to say that the sum of all torques equals zero because the bar is not going to accelerate. Um, it's not going to rotate. It's not going to have angular acceleration. The torque of mg is this way, which is negative. So you'd want the torque of the pin to be positive so that they cancel. Okay? So we're going to write torque of mg negative plus torque of pin positive equals zero. This gives us that. I'm going to send the negative to the other side. Torque of pin equals torque of mg. This should make sense. All we're doing is getting these two guys to cancel each other out. And what we're looking for here is what is the torque on the pin that's needed? And the way we're going to calculate the torque on the pin is just by calculating the torque of mg, okay? So torque of pin will be mg, I'm going to expand the right side, r sine of theta. Now, the mass is 20, um, gravity 9.8, r is the distance from the axis of rotation to the point where the force happens. We have a uniform mass distribution, which means mg um, happens in the middle of the bar. The bar is 3 meters long, so the r vector is 1.5. Put a 1.5 here. And the angle that these two guys make is 90 degrees. So sine of 90 is 1. Okay? And if we multiply this whole thing, we get 294 newton meter. And that's it. That's the answer here. Okay? So very straightforward question. Um, for us to see, to calculate one torque based on some other information, right? So that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions and let's keep going.